Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is our part five of our AWS automation with Python, Boto3 and Lambda functions. Okay. So here in this video, we are going to talk about, you know, completely about your Boto3 script using the Boto3 documentation. We are going to write a code from scratch. So if you remember in the previous video, I had already written a code and displayed in front of you, but I don't want to do that right in real world. We will have to write code from scratch, right? So that is what we are going to do. But for that, we required some kind of help, right? So that help we can get it from our Boto3 documentation. So what is Boto3 documentation? So if you remember previously, we had written some code and there were some functions, all those things we had, right? So who defines that, right? So basically Boto3 is a SDK for your AWS resources and all the methods or functions, everything related to your Python, it is well documented in Boto3 documentation. Okay, so if you go to any browser and search for Boto3 documentation, the first thing that you will get is this link. Open that in the new tab. So basically, you will have all the information related to your Boto3. So for every resources, you will find a documentation here. Okay, so let's say if you want to work on IAM. Okay, so let's just find it out. Control F and let's type in IAM. Right, so we'll get it to IAM here, and under IAM we have client paginators, waiters. So these things we have not, you know, worked on it yet. But if you go and click on IAM, here you will have different methods. So we are working, we are going to work on, you know, either clients or resources. So I'll just open client. So this is how uh, this method is how you open an IAM console, but I'll show you one of the easiest method. So if you want, you can use this also, but I'll show you one of the easiest method to remember. Okay. And these are the available methods. So if you want to create a user, create access key, create account alias, create group, everything, every operation that you have in your IAM, it is here. There is a method for everything and how to use it everything is given in this documentation so you don't have to remember all these things no one is expecting you to remember these methods so as and when there is a requirement you can come here go to boto3 documentation uh, do some research on it spend some time and get your uh, research done later on you can start the coding part okay so this is what you have to do this is the initial step all right so now let us start the coding from the uh, beginning. Okay, so let me go back to my uh, IAM console here. Sorry, IAM page here. Okay, I'll just keep it here and I'll go to my, uh, you know, favorite editor, which is VS Code for me. Okay, so you can also open your favorite editor. Okay, so this is my favorite IDE. And what I've done is what I'm going to do everything. I've, I'll just comment down so that I don't miss that points. Okay, so here if you see first things first, we need to import all the modules and libraries. So wherever you go, whichever Python you want to, uh, whichever Python script you write, the first thing that you do is import the modules or the libraries, right? Here also I'm going to do that, right? So without talking, let's get into that. Okay, so for working with AWS, you know what should be imported? Comment down below. We need to import Boto3, right? If you have comment down Boto3, then you're good, right? So I'll just say import Boto3. Okay, so we have imported Boto3, right? So next thing, after getting your Boto3, first things first, you need to open your management console, AWS management console, right? So let's do that. I'll just say AWS management console is equal to Okay, so how do you open that? We use Boto3 here again. Okay, so I'll just use Boto3 dot session. So basically we are opening a new session, right? So I'll just say session here. Make sure that you are providing the right name. Okay, so I'll just say Boto3 dot session. Okay, and I'll give the profile name. Basically, I'm going to use a profile name profile underscore name is equal to I'm going to use a default profile. So I'll just give 
make sure that you have no typos here because it will prompt an error okay uh, i'll just say uh, profile name is equal to default because i'm going to be a default user and there should be one more session right so if you remember so previously also we used to give like this boto3 dot aws management console is equal to session dot session and your whatever the profile that you are working okay so now we are good we have opened our management console now let us open our iam console so how do you open iam console basically we are working to list all the users using the client object okay so that is what we are doing right now for that we need to get into iam console right so let's get into iam console i'll just say iam iam console is equal to basically first i need to go through my management console okay and then later on by using client object i can open my i can open a service service underscore name basically i'm going to use uh, i am right so i'm going to use service underscore name is equal to quotes i am right if you want to specify a region name you can specify but as this is a global uh, you know global service i'm not going to specify any uh, any region here if you want you can still do it okay now we have opened our i am console right so this is what we have done so till now everything is clear now how to get all the other details right so till now we understood this steps remains constant for all the other services but from here the actual struggle starts right for that we can use this boto3 documentation so i have also provided the link here also in the comment i'll make sure to add this one in the github repository so that you can also get insights okay so let us go back to our boto3 document we are interested in client let me open client and here you have multiple methods so initially what you have to do is let's say if i am working on iam so the first thing that you need to do is just go over all these methods all the different me different methods that you have it will help you a lot in the future also right if if not this one if not for this project but in the future it will help you so if you just go through this list not go don't go in detail but just see okay update user is there okay untag is there untag role is there okay so what is that doing you can uh, you know work on that later but just go over this list once okay so we are trying to list all the users right so you can easily identify it is based on the alphabetical order if you come down and see you have list users here okay i'll just click on that okay if you want to list users okay basically if you want to list user this is how you need to provide the thing okay you this is how you have to request for aws but what you can just do is what the easiest way is to use you know i am console that we have used and just use this list users just use this list users method okay let's see how to do that i'll go back to my um, uh, vs code and here we are already in i am console so let us go ahead and list it so how do you list the user i'll go to my i am console and under i am console i'm going to list the users that's all and you need to as this is a method you need to provide this one okay so basically this function is going to display a lot of information okay instead of using like this let us put that into a variable okay i'll just say i'll just uh, use a result as a variable okay now let's try and print the result okay i'll just say print result okay let me save this document i'll just run this run without debug let's see the output okay i'll just expand it a bit okay i think we have an error here okay uh, let's see what is the error okay aws management console okay so the name of the default that i've given the spelling of default there is a typo i'll just fix that okay so that is what i told you be careful while uh, not careful like you will always get an error so you can always go back and uh, fix it okay so i think i've uh, done it correct now so let me rerun the script okay i'll just clear the screen for you 
okay let me rerun it okay so if you see here you are getting a lot of information right way too much but if you observe one thing if you remember my third part video i just told that when you are working with client you will always get the response in terms of dictionary if you see this one first it is an, starting with a flower braces and end it, ending with a curly braces again that indicates that it is a dictionary right python dictionary starts with starts and end with curly braces right so this is how you get the response right basically th this contains lot of information you have users and you have uh, you know username and in inside that inside that we have a lot of information username user id all those things are there but our intention is to just get the username right that is what our intention is right so if you want to just get whatever you want for example i let's say i just want to get this users so there are too many users so how do you get it right so if there are multiple users you will have to loop it right so that is what we are going to do now okay first let me let me show you one more thing so if you do not understand this way right so what you can do is i'll just say uh, from i'll i'll uh, i'm going to import one more thing one more module called pprint okay okay B using this one you can you know visualize it correctly okay i'll just say uh, imp from pprint import pprint okay so now if you just run the same script it will you know give you in a correct order okay so you you know it will provide you in a json like uh, structure okay so let's see how it goes basically this is what i am going to use if i want to check anything is working fine or not if you see you are getting it in a right way right so now if you see you can read this at least right before it was not readable right if you do not want to do this also there is one more option go back to your documentation all the parameters that are required it will be here itself and also how the response will look that also will be provided here right if you see uh, this is a dictionary right and here uh, we have multiple uh, key value pairs one is users is truncated marker so we don't have to use this one in our case let us like neck this one our only intention is to use users okay because that is where we have username right so we need to use this one so let's you know filter out for this users okay so let me copy that and i'll just use it in my code let me clear the screen once again okay now we are good let me come down okay so here the very first operation the only operation that you do in uh, the very first thing that you do is a dot operation after that you will have to figure out uh, yourself how will you get into that dictionary and what is the requirement based on your requirement you need to write your python logic okay so now let me search for my users okay so i'll just say in in my result i only want users right so that is the key name that i am trying to obtain okay so that is what i am specifying i'll just save it and i'll run it so this makes more sense to you if you use this pprint it will be more clear to you right so if you see uh, the result that i am getting right now is a list because i am using this particular key users is what i am intention uh, intended to use so i'm inside my users right now and how many users do i have i have two users if you see here it is a list and i have two users still here this is one user and from here till all the way here this is second user right and you will have user id you will have all the uh, uh, metadata related to that uh, user you will find it here but our intention is to get only username how do you get that go and use your for loop right so that is what we are going to do now okay so instead of this one what i'll uh, what i'll do is um, you know um, i'll just i'm just going to use for loop okay so let me uh, modify the code here itself i'll just say um, for 
each underscore user in result users okay so i'm just going to print okay so i'm just going to print each user and the username and inside that user i'll just want to uh, i'll just want the username right so i'm going to specify that user and n capitals name okay so if you this is what we, we are looking for right so if you see here this is what i'm getting now let me save this one and i'll first let me clear my output standard output okay so we are good now let me go ahead and run the code ideally it should work and you should only see the usernames okay so if you see here i have two users currently and that is getting displayed here okay so this is how by using the python doc uh, boto3 documentation you can create or you can write script for any resources using the boto3 documentation i hoped i hope that you like the video because uh, you know this is really amazing because if you are trying to automate few things it is going to help you a lot because every, anyone can learn aws but if you are automating it that is a cool thing that you can do right so i hope you enjoyed learning this one so i'll see you in the next one until then bye